clear. Go. Welcome to the gameplay demo walkthrough of CD Projekt Red's upcoming title, Cyberpunk 2077. A narrative-driven, open-world RPG set in a dark version of the future. Before we start, a small but important disclaimer. The gameplay you're about to see is from a work-in-progress version of the game. Everything you see is potentially subject to change. In Cyberpunk 2077, you can fully customize your character using a deep customization system. For this demo, we're going to play a female. Keep in mind that what you see here is not final. We just want to give you a glimpse of what will be possible in the released game. This is an RPG, so before we get into our appearance, we need to define our backstory. What you choose here will unlock different possibilities later in the game. Also, you can use an array of different options to modify how you look. These include body type, hairstyle, tattoos, makeup, skin tone, and many, many more. But visuals aren't everything. You'll also be able to customize your initial attribute setup. You'll notice we didn't pick a class. Cyberpunk 2077 features a fluid class system, and you'll be able to modify your class throughout the game. This demo takes place near the beginning of the game. V and her friend Jackie, along with a netrunner named t are hired to find and retrieve a missing person, a girl whose locator implant went dark. Almost clear. Go! Cyberpunk 2077 is a first-person role-playing game. This perspective enables us to maximize your immersion. Should have full access in 2.8 seconds. Breached it. Your turn. Morale, lead the way, I know. Alarms neutralized. Is that her? Is that our target, V? Room's too simple. Not our girl, I think. Keep looking. It looks like these scavengers are kidnapping people to harvest their implants. Okay, things are about to get heated. We'll take a reflex booster that temporarily allows us to use the Kereznikov ability. This is Kereznikov. Target's in there. Cabrones. Think I got her. Got our target. We make it? She alive? This does not look good. No in a minute. Jacking into Biomon. Sandra Dorset, NC-570442. Got a winner. Or she will be if we can get her to a hospital. Sheesh. 
Trauma Team Platinum, too. Platinum? Shit, TT should have swooped in if she sneezed. Something's jamming the Biomon signal. Talk to me, T-Bug. Virus, probably. Locator neurosocket. Should be a shard slotted in. Shit's probably on that. If we clear it, free up the signal, TT could actually drop in, take her off our hands. Got the shard. Removing it now. Done. I'm gonna check again. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is due to arrive at your location in 180 seconds. Biomon claims trauma will be here in three minutes. Like the fucking cavalry. <laughs> well, let's get her out of here. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rest. <laughs> oh, mierda, she's flatlining! V, you need to know what's going on. Jackie, air hypo! Care, China! <sighs> She's stable. <sighs> Fuera, China. Get her outside. I'll cover you. It turns out a virus disrupted the girl's locator implant. We fixed that, and now help is inbound. Swarm of the sons of bitches. Two vans full just pulled up outside. Fuera, get her out. Terrorists! to control, patient NC570442 secured. Stimulants being administered, 70 milligrams dopamine, 110 norepinephrine, 800 fibrin. Hey, give us a lift out of here. No problem. Cutting connection, T-bug out. All clear. That was Trauma Team, blow. a kind of high-end premium medical insurance. Don't have much time from what Bug said. We've delivered the target, and Tiba has notified us that the scavengers have called in reinforcements. Let's get out of here before they arrive. I got the eddies for new wheels now. I had something real fine, too. How about you, Aina? Probably blowing all on booze in three days. Talking about somebody else, Jack. People need that account out of combat. Cyberpunk is a mature, visceral experience, and as such, it will let you explore a variety of different interactions with the game world, and as you just saw, it's people. Hello, Night City. Your man standing here with a speech on all last night's biz. But first, remember the man, the myth, Johnny Silverhand. Been a year since he went on his last ride. All you gunks sitting in the afterlife nursing that scotch waiting for something better. You know what I mean. The so job was a success, and, boy, and V obviously in. has some money to burn. Up, v. Look, I, I need to talk to you. That news is as big as my balls. And I got a hot date with my Ripper Doc. Come on, I now make the Doc wait. Pull some pants on your culo and get down here. Subway entrance and bring your iron. Okay, Jackie has just told us that he has some big news for us. And we have an appointment with our Ripper Doc today. Before we leave, let's take a good look around our apartment. Good morning, Night City. The song on the radio is by rocker boy Johnny Silver. It's part of our creative process to draw inspiration from the pen and paper system created by Mike Pondsmith and to put our own 2077 spin on it. Let's go grab our gear. Okay, we'll take these trusty pistol. And also grab our jacket. 
Since Cyberpunk 2077 is an RPG, the jacket not only provides us with protective stats like armor, but it also increases our street cred. Street cred is a form of experience the player acquires by completing side missions. It is used to unlock new vendors and content throughout Night City. All right, let's go meet Jack. V's current apartment is located inside a mega building, a huge building complex that forms a micro society of its own. In this timeline, technology and the world have evolved in some ways that seem familiar, but entirely surprising in others. As an example, in this world, people pay with eddies, slang for Euro dollars. We make sure to root every detail in the world's lore, so everything has its purpose and stays believable. A big part of our RPG experience is having a world that is interactive. Here, a generic ad has morphed into an advertisement specifically tailored to V, informing her of the nearest vendor she can purchase the product. In this case, it shows us where to find some Nicola soda. This is Wilson, one of Night City's many gunsmiths. We won't be checking his wares soon, but you can purchase and upgrade your weapons and gear throughout the city. Cyberpunk 2077 is set in Night City, a bustling metropolis located on the coast of the free state of North California. It's a dystopian city where violence and oppression are the norm. We are working hard to make Night City a fully realized, seamless open world with no loading screens. Currently, we're in Watson, a former industrial district where crime now mixes with money. Very strong signal. You kidding me? Damn signal gone down three times. Three times, yo! It's a piece of shit. Now give me back my eddies. Silverhand's debut out, Matt. Now he'll ever sit down the ass, Could be some truth to that. We've greatly enhanced our crowd and community system to create the most believable city in any open world game to date. The city's streets are bustling with crowds of people from all facets of life, all living their lives within a full day and night cycle. Okay, there's Jack. Fucking finally. Buckle up. Shit's happening. What's up, Jack? Dexter Deshaun. Huh? Sound familiar? Everybody wants to talk to you. One of Night City's top fixers, eh? Okay, you see that caddy? Need to walk on over there and get us a job, I know. <laughs> Fine, I'll meet him. Talk. I'll be a senior rippers. Good news to me. Good luck, V! It turns out we've caught the attention of one of Night City's biggest players, Dexter Deshaun. A fixer. A person who gets things done. He wants to meet up and discuss a job. Get in. Let's see what he has for us. Yo, Miss V. A pleasure. Let's roll. Scanning the serious job just now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scab home. You interested? Interested, sure. Tell me more. Well, glad to hear. Before we can start in on this, though, 
I need to be sure. Sure you all right. All right. And the nature of this test? Slot in the show. See, got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang, just doing his thing, jumped a corp convoy, got away with gear. Now I need me that little combat bot. They call it the Flathead. Of course, I got the Eddies to buy it, but me and the Maelstrom boys ain't the best of friends. No flow to our convo, see? Who's the woman? Corporal agent. She's on the hunt for the dogs who sold the Gangoon's info on the convoy. Got herself a prisoner. Her chief suspect, most likely. Going on 20 hours since the convoy was jumped, and she still don't have no guilty body. Gotta be desperate by now. Be wise to think how you could use that. Got any questions for me? Clear on it all, I think. Time I got to work. Beautiful. Here's hoping my inkling checks out. So, see you at the afterlife soon as the job's done. Do good, and this'll be the start of a beautiful friendship based on heaps of eddies. It seems Dexter has given us a test of sorts to see if we're worthy. He wants us to retrieve a piece of high-tech combat gear, a local gang stole from the Militech Megacorp. We'll be able to approach this job from a variety of angles. Let's try calling the Militech contact to see where that leads. Stout here. Hi. Um, heard you were looking for some tech. Let's talk. Hey, everybody shut it! Where is it? Come on, spell! On the horn? No. Uh -huh. Amateur hour, Jesus. First exit off Skyline going towards the NID. Storm Channel under the overpass. Meet you there. The situation's tricky because the contract giver is a corporate agent who seems a little high strung. Before we get down to business, it's a great idea to visit our Ripper Dog. Got a real whack tape, change your fucking life. Crime is a common occurrence. Night City is not a safe place. Life here is not easy. Your heart chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. V! I can release... How to play out with Dex? It's all here. All right. I'll check it out while I wait for you. V? Dr. Vector, we'll see you now. We're at a Ripper Doc clinic. Ripper Docs are specialist vendors who offer people the possibility to install or upgrade their cyberware. Vicky, spry as ever, you old Ripper. Hey, v. Need to bump up my specs and get a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit just got real. Hitting the major leagues. Got a job from Dex Deshaun. The Dexter Deshaun? Yeah, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quick, Ryan, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later. With interest. You know I will. Last time, I swear. Now sit. That's Karoshi. Best I've got. And should be about right under the circumstances. Now, Jack in. Yeah. 
You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. We're going to install both an optical scanner. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. And a subdermal weapon grip. The link's not labeled. And to be perfectly honest, not entirely sure where the hell I got it. Still, looks like it'll talk to Kuroshi Tech. <sighs> I'm ready. Carve away. Okay, all clean. Now for the fun stuff. Lay that Major League arm of yours right here. Just like that. Thanks. Now a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Doc. Play by play. Makes you sound like a dentist. You're always going on and on. Don't be me now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Good. So let's test it. I'm linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort, maybe blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. So, how's it look to you? With the scanner, we can zoom in on things and take a closer look. This is fantastic. Beautiful. Time for the scanner. Additionally, we can analyze objects, get details on enemy weak points or gang affiliation. It might take you a while to adjust, but first time is rarely the charm with anything, really. The scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. The subdermal weapon grip links to our scanner and shows us weapon information like ammo count and fire modes. It also increases the base damage on all connected weapons. Shit, Victor. Not bad. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now and another two in an hour. Thanks again. You're the best, Vic. Go on, kid. Show them what you can do. And once you hit the big time, don't forget where you came from. While some Ripper docks operate legally, others provide black market services. For the right price, they can even offer to install illegal, military-grade cyberware. Left a few minutes ago. Said he'd wait outside. Well, well, Hiroshi. Mm -hmm. Well, Vig's got a soft spot for you, Heine. Come on, how about you use them fancy ass optics to scan my new wheels? Sure, but you'll have to let me take it first, Ben. Hey, just watch the paint job. Is this pendejo? Hey, carnal! Hey, you got a problem? This guy looks an awful lot like one of those scavengers we took out earlier. Something tells me there wasn't no coincidence, huh? Jackie's car is a super-powered sports car running on Chew 2, the super fuel of the future. Players can explore Night City freely, in many different cars, on bikes, and in other types of fields. This does 
not look good. Puta madre! Grab the wheel, Jack! Oh, fuck! It looks like the scavengers from earlier are still angry. They're pulling ahead, Haida! Watch it now! I think we got rid of him. That was intense. Ah, shit! The fuck was that? The hells. Night City never sleeps. Danger lurks around every corner, even in daytime. Random encounters like these are an example of how your actions directly influence your open world experience. Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, Jackie. So, they're done riding our asses? Scavs? Uh, sure, maybe. Should be looking for a new spot to slice and dice, not gunning after us. But, who knows? Real messed up pendejo, Scavs. Saw it yourself. Many forces are fighting for control of Night City. But the mega corporations are the real showroom. The agent we're going to meet represents Militech, one of the largest companies in the private military sector. Why are we stopping? Remember the corpo off Dex's shard? Ranger, she's in the area and we're gonna meet. Let me guess. She's in hot corporal water. Desperate. Then you think you can use that. See if I can, yeah. Since Cyberpunk 2077 is an RPG, preparation will be key when dealing with Night City's powerful, especially when these are corpos. Instead of just rushing in, let's assess the situation with our freshly installed Kiroshi optical scanner. There, let's take a closer look. Composite armor, car's a fucking tank. Shit. Yeah, Militech, no doubt about it. You sure you still want to meet him? Yeah, gotta do this. But don't you move a damn muscle. Not unless I start, that is. These guys are levels higher than we are. Let's try to approach them carefully. <laughs> Out. Take it you were the one to call? Yep. We wanted. Think you're smart? But you can blackmail me, bitch? Set conditions? Calm the hell down! What is I've this? I've got you now, asshole! You're insane! Who the fuck is this? I'll know in two seconds, Flat. That fucking thing ready? All set. Are you here alone? The Corpos have hacked us through our personal link and have subjected Come us to a kind of lie detector program. The dialogue system in Cyberpunk 2077 is fully gameplay driven. I asked if you came alone. Yep, just little old me. She's lying. Search the area. Now listen, folks, we don't need to be here all day. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist, did he or another asshole at Militech leak info to you or anyone else about a convoy? It might be tempting to reach for the gun, but the no. consequences could be dire. To do with him Remember, or these guys are really tough. Shit. Checks out. <laughs> you got nothing on me! Nothing! Won't get away with this, you bitch! You're dead! Somebody shut him up. Take me home! Now! All right. I have no idea who you're working for or what you even want, but you better give me something solid or I will end you. I've got an offer. Oh, you are stretching. This better be fucking good. Gang goons who ripped you off? I know where to find them. They got a bot I want. Give me the funds to buy that bot. You can do what you want with the gang. I don't give a shit about the thieves. I want my mold. Cred chip, 50k. Just enough to buy you your bot. Thing is, Chip's gotta make it into the thieves' terminal. That's all I need. 
Think you can do that? Then we got a deal. Fine. I'm in. Try to fuck me in any way, and I'll be seeing you real soon. You're making a mistake! This cunt's good as dead! And she'll take you down with her! The agent gave us the money to buy the bot we need from the gang. By choosing to call the Militech agent earlier, we have now opened up a non-violent path through this quest. Of course, we could try and keep the money, but that would mean we'd have to take the merchandise by force, which requires a lot of firepower. Looked a little fishy, you know? A little tense. No signal, so I stay put. Good thing, too. Went down about like I expected. Made a deal, and we're good to meet with Maelstrom now. Mm-hmm. Be there soon. What do you expect? Corpse don't forgive or forget. Even these Borg fucks sense that. Feel the pressure. That's why they're holed up in this shithole, praying to the almighty Trip Six. Gotta move the tech, but they can't. Cause your new best friend from the tripped out, tanked out SUV is just begging them to try. How you wanna do this? Even now, we can choose how to approach this quest. Do we go in guns blazing, or do we try to negotiate All right. for the bomb? Plan's simple. We pay with the Corpo's cred and get out. I don't know, but you're calling this one. For this demo, let's try oh, the more diplomatic approach. Uh, Tough shit. All we need's for them to buy it. Hmm. Don't know you. Want to talk to Royce? Main room. I'm waiting. They look damn well prepared. All strapped with military gear. Psycho Borgs chromed out with military grade hardware worth millions. The guys we're about to meet are dangerous. They are members of the Maelstrom Gang, and their obsession with body modification goes way beyond even this world's standards. On their path to becoming machines, they don't shy away from even the most extreme measures. Anti-personnel mine. Shrapnel's better. Hmm, my favorite. Kangoon's getting creative with their gear. It looks like they made this abandoned All Foods Meat Factory their hideout. Charming. Another one? Seriously? Maybe we should have taken him by surprise. A little late for regress like that. Got us in their sights now. Just keep moving. Stay cool. They're just trying to spook us. Remember, we've chosen to buy the tech, not steal it. Hopefully this will go yeah, fast no, and easy. This is a pretty well-guarded place. You can imagine what would have happened if we'd taken the violent path. What? Looking to buy a bot. Model MTO D12. Looks like a spider. Couch planted. Yo, Kurt, peek around the corner, see if we got anything like that. Well, shit. Sit down. I'll stand. Can't move on your culo. Makes you an easy target. Sit down. That really necessary, hombre? I ain't your hombre. Sit. Sit your ass down before I plant a bullet in your skull. Jack, sit down. This ain't gonna end well, but... Shit. Well, all right. Fucking bravo. Come on. Lighten up. Have a whiff. Better? Now 
Now we can talk. The bot. Need to see it. Suit yourself. Fucking tricked out, state of the art this thing. Don't even got no standard port. Bells and whistles, though. Dynamic camo armor and motor impulses rivaling that of the human nervous system. Its actuators are actually pimped with titanium fiber, and it can go anywhere. Literally. Watch this. Fully integrated link, too. So when the spider starts crawling up walls, dangling from ceilings, you could lose your lunch. So, what you think? Hey, up and let's get the fuck out of here. The buck. I'll take it. Two questions. What the fuck's going on? And who the fuck is this? Got 50 large on this crutching. And you positively reek of Militech. Dexter Deshaun sent me. Dexter Deshaun, dreads, gold plate, fat old fuck, that him? <laughs> we'll pay for the bot, be on our way. How much you say you had? 50k? Creds on this. Move it. Not the smoothest of deals, but it worked out in the end, right? Flathead's good gear. It'll do the trick. Whatever that trick is. Shit. Shit, shit, shit! It turns out the cred ship we got from the Militech agent contained a virus Cut which off. fried their system. The the Royce, their leader, is making a break for it. <laughs> Had to end this way. Before we figure out a way to leave, let's grab the splinter that controls the bot from one of these dead maelstromers. The inspection system allows us to take a closer look at the splinter. You can inspect specific items to reveal details that can help in solving quests. Okay, let's equip the splinter to our chipware slot. With this done, the bot will now follow us wherever we go. All right, what else do we have here? Nice. A street modified tech shotgun. Tech weapons fire rounds that penetrate walls and other types of cover. They also have an alternate fire mode that allows you to power up shots and deal more damage. It looks like there are several ways out of this room, like those gates, for example. However, you'd have to be a skilled net runner to hack into this terminal. Luckily, our engineering skills should allow us to disassemble that maintenance panel so we can get through the door. Guys! There are many skills right in the game you. that players can apply in solving problems. The engineering skill can be used to fix, disassemble, and disarm me. devices blocking the Production your line path. passes through here. And we're gonna pass through with it. So, from this point on, we're going to unlock the abilities of a high-end character to showcase some of the different mechanics we have in the game. One of the new weapon modules we now have installed is a ricochet targeting system connected to our eyes. This allows players to bounce bullets off walls and hit enemies hiding behind cover.
pocket! Ah! This is another targeting system Charge. that will reveal enemies behind walls. Paired with the penetrating rounds of our tech shotgun, it's a deadly combination. Looks like we found some loot. This is a smart gun. It's one of the more advanced weapons in the game, allowing bullets to track and follow their target. It's one of many different weapons players can acquire. Weapons are built of modules that allow for deep customization and progression. This way, you can be sure to find something that will suit your place. The toughest bastards guarding this route. Probably some reason for that. Motherfucker! Just a reminder, everything you've seen and are about to see, including this particular feature we're about to show you, is from a work-in-progress version of the game and may change over the course of development. Okay, all exits covered. Okay, let's try something different. We're going to take this guy down and connect directly to his neural side. In the world of Cyberpunk, once you are jacked into a network, you have access to everything it connects to. Through this Maelstrom gang map, we've now connected to the gang hideout's internal network. This is the building's personnel system. Let's focus on the squad containing the Maelstrom ganger we just connected to. From here, we can deploy software that affects the whole squad. For now, we'll simply unlock the ability to perform quick hacks. All right, time to show off our new high-level abilities. With Quick Hack, using the back door we unlocked a minute ago, we'll install a virus that jams the connection between the Maelstrom Ganger and his weapon. This will prevent him from firing. <laughs> ah, Looks like he's having a problem now. Nice. Some of you might recognize these Mantis Blades. We can also double jump and bounce off of walls which makes us a very agile, fast solo. Sweet, we just found a corporate tech rifle. Corpo weapons are top of the line. Let's scan this guy and see what's going on. It looks like Royce is back, and he's prepped. He's got an armored exoskeleton. We won't be able to get rid of him that easily. Our weapons are not dealing a lot of damage because he's packing an autonomous shield. Luckily, the scan we performed earlier Let's revealed go. a weak spot. Ah! Attacking should bring the shield down.
Shields down. Let's finish him off. Boy, it ain't going your way, you cunts. Okay, let's put him down and get this job over. That wasn't the smoothest raid, but we've got the bot, and Dex should be happy. But think back. What would have happened if we hadn't met with the Militech agent? Or told Royce about the agent and her plans? Or just decided to buy the bot ourselves? So many options, so many possibilities, and each will have consequences that will ripple through the game world and your story. And that's just one quest. Let's head out and finish the job. About goddamn time. Let's get out of here. You know, we really ought to work together more often. Your chip had the clap. That's not discreet. You set me up. I fucked you over, you fucked the gang over. Somewhere at the start of the story, somebody fucked the corp. See how this works now? Only the corp gets what it wants. Remember that. Learn it. Years down the line, you'll be standing where I am, watching somebody else doing- Yep, being a raging bitch to whoever's doing my dirty work for me. It's time we were on our way, Ida. Okay. Let's call Dex and tell him how things went down. My girl is shit eating suits. Mama not. Hey, Mr. Dex. Get us that table at the afterlife? Hmm, matter of fact, I did. Just in my gut and all, you know. Well, you were right to. <laughs> well done, Mr. B. Well done. Shit, I can't believe it, Ina. Major Leagues. We're in. <laughs> I mean, we fucking pried the door open. Thought the only thing I want to pry open right now is a bottle of scotch. Oh, no. Not another three-nighter. Por favor. Need to get to know this city, Jack. Not just gun in hand. I'm on a crusade. Amen, Ina. We finished the job. But our story is just beginning. This concludes our gameplay demo walk. Thanks for watching. In twenty seventy seven, they voted my city the worst place to live in America. Main issues. Sky-high rate of violence, and more people living below the poverty line than anywhere else. Can't deny it, it's all true. But everybody still wants to live here. This city's always got a promise for you. Might be a lie, an illusion. But it's there, just around the corner. And it keeps you going. City of Dreams, and I'm a big dreamer.